Hey traders, welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I want to show you how do you treat institutional buying and selling with the MPE strategy. I want to give you a step-by-step -step guide because we have a question from one of our subscribers about how do you actually implement this uh, identification of institutional buying and selling in a practical manner. So that's my goal for today's lesson. Okay, just a brief recap. Okay, about what you will need to know in order to benefit from this video. Okay, the first thing that you need to understand is you need to learn how to identify institutional buying and selling. Okay, I have a lot of videos about this. I will leave a link to these videos uh, at the top right as well as in the description down below. So if you have not watched those videos about institutional buying or selling, then you want to make sure you watch those videos first because this video will not make sense to you if you do not understand how you identify them first. Okay, but I'll, I'll do a brief, um, very brief breakdown of uh, what, the, what are the things to look out for. Okay, and then after that, I want to move on to the MPE strategy. Okay, our MPE strategy is the trading strategy that is taught in our free day trading guide. So if you have not gotten a copy of it, you can grab a copy of it uh, in the description below. It's, again, it's, an, it's free and I teach you the step-by-step -step process of how do you find a high probability trade setup. But in today's video, I want to show you how do you integrate institutional buying and selling with the MPE strategy. Now, if you are familiar with our work and you know what the MPE strategy is, you will know that uh, it consists of market condition, price level, and entry. So in today's video, uh, this institutional buying and selling can be used as part of the price level um, or rather P of the process, MPE. So P stands for price level. We want to integrate institutional buying and selling into price level. Basically, we want to use this institutional buying and selling levels as part of our MPE strategy. So I'll show you how to do that uh, step by step. I'll go into the charts to show it to you. But before I do that, I want to just uh, talk about, uh, you know, a very brief introduction to how do you find institu institutional buying and selling, okay? You are looking for actually three characteristics. The number one is that there are less than six candles at the base. The second criteria that you're looking for is that you want to see extended range candles where the candles close at the top or the bottom of the range. So you have candles that are like, like this. Okay, um, sorry, let me just draw it nicer. Let me draw it like that. Okay, if it's a bullish candle, you want it to close near the top of the range. And if it's a bearish candle, you want it to close near the bottom of the entire um, range of the candle. So you want it to close here. Okay, and you also want to look for uh, the candles being predominantly one color. So if it's a bullish impulsive um, institutional buying, is buying, then you want to see that a lot of the candles are bullish. If it's a bearish one, then you want to see a lot of bearish candles. Okay, so I will not go into more details about this because all this have been uh, documented in the other videos. Again, I'll leave the link to those videos. So make sure you check those videos out if you have not. Okay, if not, this video will not make sense to you. Okay, so at the same time, right, please do us a favor. Please help us to like this video, right? We are trying to reach 100,000 traders. So videos like this are designed to help you become a better trader. So we will definitely appreciate it if, you know, you take, you know, just three seconds of your time to like the video and, you know, uh, just leave a comment down and let us know what you think. Okay, so have you done that? Okay, so let's move into the charts and let me show you an example. Okay, so if you read the day trading guide, uh, you you know that it's MPE. So step number one involves uh, identifying the market um, condition. So there are three types of market condition. Uh, all this is spelled out in the day trading guide. Okay, but the first type is actually in the downtrend, uh, uptrend or um, consolidating. So in this case, what is the market condition? I think it's very clear. Let's say we are looking at uh, this, this uh, level over here. You should be able to tell easily at a glance that this is a downtrend. Okay, let me just explain to you why. I'll draw it out and then um, I'll explain to you why. So the answer is very simple because you have a series of lower lows and lower highs. Okay, so you have a low here, you have a high, you have a lower low and you have a lower high. And in fact, this is a lower low, lower high, lower low and so on and so forth. So the, con the conclusion is that you're in a downtrend. So M of the MP strategy is set up is you're in a downtrend, market condition is downtrend, so you want to be selling at resistance. Now, step number two involves finding a price level. If you read our day trading guide, we teach you how to identify horizontal uh, support and resistance levels. You know, you draw lines such as this to find uh, levels that you're interested in. 
But right now, because you want to incorporate institutional buying and selling, you want to sell where institutionals are selling and you want to buy where institutions are buying, then you need to go through this additional step of uh, identifying which are the key levels which uh, institutional players are buying or selling. So as I mentioned earlier, we are in a downtrend. So we want to be selling. So naturally, we want to look for where institutional traders are selling and we want to sell at there. So over here, let me just clear this up and then it's clearer. Over here, there is actually a institutional selling level over here. Okay, I'll just highlight it for you. This candle over here, that is institutional selling. Okay, it's, it's, it's based on the uh, three criteria. Number one, uh, this is only a one candle basing. You only have one candle before price plunge down. So uh, it, this qualifies, um, this meets the criteria number one, which is less than six candles. Criteria number two is that um, you see that there's extended range candles. So if you zoom in and you see this candle closed near the bottom of the range of the whole entire uh, candles range, and this candle also closed near the bottom of the candles range, you do not see any lower wick. Okay, this candle is also the same. So what do I mean by extended range candles? Extended range candles are candles which close near the top or bottom of the entire uh, candles uh, range. So if it's a bearish candle, means it closes near the bottom. If it's a bullish candle, then it closes near the top. So you can see that this is a, a bearish selling, bearish institutional selling. So naturally, uh, we have established that we are in a downtrend. We want to sell at a price level that the institutional are selling. Then you will look for an entry somewhere here. So this is how you use it. For trigger, you could have entered somewhere here if you wanted to, or what you could have done if you are a bit more advanced is you could have went down to the H4. Okay, let me see if I can uh, find it. Okay, you could have went down to the H4 and look for a sort of a uh, uh, candlestick pattern in which there's a bearish engulfing here. And that's how you could have traded this, uh, this strategy. So that this candle over here would have been your entry. And if you wanted to be safe, you could have placed your stop loss somewhere above uh, you know, the, 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 the zone. If you want to be safe, you could just put it above um, this entire uh, bearish uh, candle. Let me just go back and then. Okay, you could have placed your stop loss above uh, this candle high, this candle high here, because uh, this is where the institutional started selling. So that's how you do it. You can look at the higher time frame levels, the higher time frame um, institutional selling level. Then you go to the H4 and you start looking for an entry. So that's a breakdown of the MPE strategy. M stands for market condition, P stands for price level, and E stands for entry trigger. So in this case, uh, we are just incorporating a new, you know, uh, additional filter in that is uh, rather than looking for horizontal levels to, you know, enter, enter the market, we are looking at, uh, institutional levels where institutional level uh, players are buying and selling so hopefully that is clear to you but uh, let me just show you one more example just in case uh, you you know you, you don't really fully understand or you miss something so let's uh, let's look at this level over here okay this level here is very interesting because it demonstrates uh, a few things which I'll cover shortly just let me clear everything up first okay so over here, let's let's talk about this uh this portion of the market over here. So let's start with the word M, M the letter M, MPE. So what does M mean? Market condition. So what's the market condition? So it should be quite easy because uh, you have a high here, you have a low here, and then you have a higher high here. Okay, so you are in an uptrend. So in an uptrend, you want to be buying. Very straightforward. So let's talk about price level next. So if you want to be buying. Where should you be buying at? That's the question, right? So there's actually an institutional level over here. Institutional buying is here. This level here, this doji candle here. So again, why is this institutional buying? Very straightforward. Look at the departure of this level. There's only one candle before price departure, before price made this very nice movement up. Okay, most of the candles are one color. You can see that this is a green 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 all green and this is extended range candle so you can see over here that uh, this one price nearly close at the top uh, this three candles no but this candle yes so here's a good lesson for you you do not need to over analyze just eyeball it if it looks like institutional buying and it follows the rules 
don't need to be too anal about it as long as it kind of follows the rules, you can classify it as institutional buy or selling. So what happens is price came down over here. So let's apply E. We have M down, which is market condition. P, we have price level. The next thing is we need a trigger. Now this case study over here demonstrates why it's very important for you to have uh, to wait for a trigger. Because if you had just, let's say, placed a limit order here and you put your stop loss below, you probably would have got stop out depending on how uh, wide your stop loss was. But this is why it is always great to wait for an entry trigger. So in this case, if you waited for this candle over here, let me show you. If you waited for this bullish engulfing candle here, uh, that would be the ideal trade because uh, that could be your trigger and that trigger is actually taught in our free day trading guide, right? This is a bullish and engulfing pattern. You can use this or you can also go to the H4 and uh, let me see if I can uh, find it. Where is it? You can't really find it, but uh, I think you, you, you kind of get it that uh, you just want to go into the lower time frame. You want to go to the lower time frame and see if you can find an entry. Okay, I somehow I just can't seem to find it. I don't know where is it. Maybe it's too far back. Let me see. Yeah, okay, I won't do it because uh, I can't find it and don't make this video too long. But I think you get it. You get it that uh, you, you want to look for a trigger. Okay, your trigger can be based on the higher time frame. Uh, it can be based on the daily chart. In fact, in our free day trading guide, we recommend you to use the uh, this uh, time frame the daily chart because it's the cleanest it's the easiest to trade so this is what you want to do you want to look for uh, discount levels and then uh, you want to apply the MPE so this is how you apply uh, the, the what you learn in the previous videos the institutional buying and selling into the MPE strategy so you can see that there's a lot of things you can combine to the MPE strategy such as you know uh, indicators you can even throw in you know Fibonacci there are a lot of things you can add in but the essence of trading is always the same. You always want to look for the same three things. So at the bare minimum, if you are new to trading, you want to incorporate these three factors, which is the market condition, the price level, and the entry. If you want to throw in other things, I don't really care. You want to throw in Fibonacci. You want to throw in institutional buying, selling. You want to throw in your RSI. I don't care. It doesn't matter. But if you do not have either of these equa ingredients in your trading plan, then it's going to be very difficult for you to trade uh, consistently and have a systematic approach to approach the market. So I hope uh, you know you really stick to the MP strategy. Our team took a lot of time to uh, prepare that for you. So hopefully uh, you really download it and you really uh, apply it as though you paid thousands of dollars uh, to learn it because uh, that's what we did. We paid for a lot of money to learn things like this and we are making it free for you. So hopefully you got something out of today's lesson. Okay, so just a brief recap. I talked about how to identify institutional buying and selling, right? Uh, you want to look for less than six candles at the base. You want to look for explosive departure. You want to see extended range candles in uh, the in in, uh, in either in the bullish direction or in the bearish direction. And you want most of the candles to be predominantly one color. Okay, I also show you how do you integrate the uh, MP strategy with the uh, institutional buying and selling. Okay, basically. P stands for price level and we are using um, the institutional buy and selling levels uh, in, in, in this example, in this Forex video today. So hopefully uh, that clarifies any doubts you have. If you have any questions, right, just feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, our team will serve you. Right? We'll do our best to help you. Even if it's just one person with a question, we will record a video just like this just to serve you. Okay, That's how committed we are to serving you at the highest level possible so i think uh you know the least you could do is just right give us a thumbs up right help us to grow as a channel right give us a thumbs up share with us you know uh whether you benefited from this video or any concerns you have in the comment section okay we really really appreciate that if not thanks for your time i'll see you in the telegram channel and please trade safe